looking for a unique gift to get that uh, handgun enthusiast, your favorite person in your life, get him something a little different. How about the five pistol violin case from Peak Case Company? <laughs> Peak Case Company makes cases for just about anything you could ever want uh, for firearms, uh, long guns, handguns, um, you name it, custom cases for about every application. Uh, but, you know, a lot of gun cases seem to kind of shout out guns. Well, this one doesn't necessarily. This is designed for five handguns and magazines. It's a hard side case. This is a two layer hard side case and the top layer does conveniently pop out. They uh, very thoughtfully put two holes, one on each end here where you can get your fingers in. And even better than that, they put larger holes beneath it down here so that you can actually get a, uh, uh, hook your fingers inside of the, of the round areas and still be able to uh, pull it out. There's a, it's almost like a, uh, it's a fiberboard type of uh, bottom on the upper layer here. So it's relatively rigid and the upper layer will fit one, two, three handguns and one, two, three, four, five, six magazines. Although, we'll talk a little bit about an addition to that here in just a minute. The bottom layer fits two handguns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different, uh, or nine magazines. Uh, but it can fit more than that. So, right up here, um, we can fit, by the way, these are uh, designed so that you can uh, cut out uh, extensions on here uh, to make the uh, make it fit a longer pistol. I already cut this one out so it'll fit my staccato P down here and it does barely fit it but it does fit the staccato P quite nicely in that one slot. Uh, we're going to get to drawbacks toward the end but I will mention right now that one of the drawbacks is this only fits one optic ready gun. There are no cutouts for other optic ready guns. It will fit a full-size 1911 right here, and you can see that it does have a muzzle plug on, or not a plug, but a, a cutout area right here on the end, so that you can extend that from a 5-inch 1911 to a 6-inch if you want to. And in fact, let's just go ahead and cut that out real quick. They do cut out easily and cleanly doesn't take a real sharp knife to do it but there is a six inch my bowl hunter 1911 that fits in that one spot you can also cut it out for a longer uh, longer uh, grip uh, on it uh, let's see magazines for the staccato it does fit the uh, atlas 21 round magazine of course it'll fit the uh, 21 uh, round magazine that comes with the um, staccato P and easily fits the 17 round magazine and if you have a 1911 in there so you can actually fit two single stack magazines in one magazine area which gives you more than that 15 mag capability. Uh, let's see uh, Glock 19 doesn't quite fit in without cutting out the uh, extension on here or the, the, the removable area we're not going to cut that out quite yet your Glock 42, something a little like that, will fit and will bounce around quite a bit because it is smaller than the spot, but that's okay, it's well padded. This foam is, uh, is a good uh, protective foam, nice textured material on the top, foam on the inside, and in this area back here, it does have another uh, uh, padding area on the bottom which actually increases or decreases the depth of that to fit the smaller pistol. And while we're looking at this part of the case, there is a little basket that has desiccant in there. I'm not going to open this up right now, but it does open up. And there's desiccant um, crystals in there that you can bake. And it actually gives you instructions on how to, uh, um, how to um, get these again so they're going to absorb more moisture. Nice little touch, but I suggest if you open it up, be real careful and ask me how I know. All right, so let's take the top layer out, take a look at the bottom layer. Again, pretty much the same thing. A uh, couple of issues, though, that, uh, that we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But uh, this is a hard shell case. It's got a metal band reinforcing it. The whole thing is covered in ballistic nylon and does have the uh, typical YKK zippers on it. 
They do lock as I mentioned before and they will lock right in here. And that has a combination lock here also on the bottom. And in addition to the combination lock, there uh, is a loop in each one of the zipper areas so you can put a, a, a small lock in there. Uh, not TSA approved, we'll talk more about that here in just a minute also, but it does uh, secure it. And one push of the, the button pops open both the zippers and you can open it up. Uh, three number combination, easy to reset, gives you instructions on just how to reset that. Now, Pete claims that this case weighs uh, about six pounds. When I put it on my scale, I come out to about seven pounds, two ounces, a little heavier than what they say. Uh, I have not calibrated my scale, but I think it's relatively close. This is about a $170 case. Another uh, additional cost, if you want to get a, an engraved nameplate on here, um, when my wife gave me this, uh, she made sure that it was engraved with a nameplate, which I'm not showing under this post-it right now. All right, so again, it fits a lot, and uh, um, but it doesn't, even in the, the largest area right here, and again, it will not fit a, uh, well, this is a, a Glock uh, 40, is not going to fit that with an optic on it. However, and I'm not going to cut this out right now, but if I were to take out the, the muzzle area and the buttstock area, or, or the grip area, make that a little bigger, even with uh, the optic on that, I could probably fit this, uh, this Glock uh, 40 in that one spot. So even though it doesn't have a specific optic slot on it, uh, beyond that one on the top, uh, we can still make it work on the bottom. And the same thing uh, goes with the Glock 34 will fit in there very nicely if I just take out that uh, that one muzzle area. One thing that I found uh, in addition to the fact that it's not really optics ready for more than one pistol is that 1911s with a with a beaver tail like my Dan Wesson ECO here are not going to fit in the, uh, the other slots unless I cut them out because the beaver tail is a little bit too big. So it's not super friendly to multiple 1911s or anything with an extended beaver tail on it. Uh, same thing with the, uh, the compact size slots in here. Even with cutting out that, that muzzle area, I'm not going to fit my uh, VP9 with the uh, threaded barrel. We'll fit a, actually won't, that won't even fit a 17. 17 is going to have to go in the, uh, in the larger area. The uh, Canic Mate, again, will fit barely if I take out the area for the, the uh, grip here as well as the muzzle. Even with an optic on it, I could still make that fit if I had to. If you are a revolver enthusiast, however, you are essentially out of luck. Even a 4-inch K-frame Smith is not going to fit in any of those slots, so this is for semi-automatics only, not going to work for revolvers. So, overall thoughts. Absolutely uh, great way to carry five pistols, 15 or more bags if you're carrying a single stack. Certainly a, a good solid uh, disguised way to do it. Now, Peak Cases uh, Peak Case Company also makes other uh, disguise cases. They make them for, I believe, rigid tools. They make inserts for the toolbox, a couple of different sizes. Uh, and it, if you're going traveling on a road trip or whatever, by the way, since it's not TSA approved, you can't be carrying this on the airlines. However, if you're doing a road trip, you want to go into a hotel lobby uh, carrying something that is a little less screaming uh, guns, uh, a little more discreet, certainly a good way to do it. Doesn't make it theft proof, however. Uh, certainly it's not going to scream guns to the bad guys looking in your car who are going to want to steal guns. However, sometimes uh, musical instruments or even tools, if you're using the rigid case, can be attractive to somebody who wants to swipe something and take it to a pawn shop and easily hock it. Um, plus, this thing is, when you get it loaded with five guns, 15 magazines, particularly if you load uh, your magazines with ammunition, this is going to be a heavy case. However, good solid handle, full metal band that runs all the way around it is going to make it nice and strong, nice and sturdy. So even though it's going to be heavy, it's still going to be easy to carry. So again, if you're looking for a gift for your favorite handgun enthusiast, something a little bit different, the Peak Case Company Violin Case to fit five pistols and 15 or more magazines. Good idea. Hey, thanks for stopping in while we take a quick look at this Peak Case.